Hey guys, welcome back. It is time for June's empties and there's a little bit of everything. So we're just gonna get to it. So you guys wanna see what I used up in June and just keep watching. As always, we're gonna start in the shower. I don't have any shampoos, but I have some body washes and like shaving things. This, I don't know why there's so much in here, but this is the Bath & Body Works Napa Valley Sunset. Apparently, I didn't realize this wasn't empty. This smells really good, so I'm actually gonna finish this. I don't know. I don't know how this happened. It smells really good, really fruity floral, more fruity than floral, really kind of fruity, like, like a fruit, really fruity wine it makes sense because it's the Napa Valley Sunset. On that same note, not a shower thing, I also have the Napa Valley Sunset candle and the body wash smells much better. This smells very fall-like to me for a candle, whereas this smells more fruity spring-like. So I don't know how that works, but I much prefer the body wash over the candle for this time of year. Another body wash is the Lush Rose Jam Shower Gel. This is probably my favorite smelling thing ever of life. It smells like roses and lemons. Oh, it smells so good. I love this. I always buy this at Christmas time when this comes out. It is one of my faves. A shaving gel. This is the Gillette Satin Care Dry Skin Shave Gel. This was fine, but I think I'm realizing that I prefer shaving creams versus gel, so I'll probably just stick to like the pure silk or something. But I had this and I wanted to use it, and it was fine. A little baby Biore baking soda pore cleanser. This was nice. I don't really think it did anything amazing. It smelled really nice, and it like sort of lathered nicely or like foamed up nicely. But uh, I mean, I would probably buy it at some point, but not anytime soon. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, I need to have this, but. If I saw it somewhere, I'd be like, oh yeah, that was nice. Okay. One hand soap from Bath & Body Works. This is the Lavender Blossom. It smells like lavender, which I love. So, obviously I liked this. A Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. I did not like this. This felt like my face was on fire. It burned like a mofo. I did not care for this Glam Glow. Not like burned, like, oh, this is uncomfortable. I can't wait to take this off in 10 minutes when it's time. It's like... Holy crap, I need to take this off right now because my face, I think it's peeling off. I think the skin on my face is peeling off. That kind of burn. Not good. I have three toothpastes. I don't really know how that happened. A little baby Colgate enamel whitening. Sure, that's fine. The Colgate Optic White Express White. Whiter teeth in three days. I don't know about that, but I did like this toothpaste and I already purchased it. And then the one that I truly noticed the difference with is the Arm & Hammer Truly Radiant Rejuvenating Whitening with Refreshing Twist. I actually did notice a difference with this after using it for a while, uh, so I would repurchase this too. Some cleansing towelettes. These are the Studio 35 Beauty cleansing towelettes. I actually use these just to remove swatches. I don't like them for taking makeup off of my face, but for swatches they're fine. And same with the Simple Cleansing Facial Wipes. These were both swatch removal wipes. Don't like them for my face, but they work for swatch. The usual cotton pads, cotton rounds from Ulta, cotton rounds for nails, cotton ovals for taking off my makeup. Love those. And then I have a couple sheet masks. This is one from Pure Lease, the Blue, Lit Blue Lotus and Seaweed. I actually really like these Pure Lease sheet masks. They smell very relaxing and I just, I really like these sheet masks. Uh, one from Sephora. This is the Ultra Moisturizing and Brightening Rose Mask. This one's fine. One from Leaders, the Tea Tree Renewal Relaxing Mask. This one was nice, and I love the smell of tea tree, so anything that has tea tree in it, I'm, I'm usually down with it. And one actually hand mask from Sephora. This is the Ultra Moisturizing and Beautifying Aloe Vera Hand Mask. I didn't notice a huge difference after using this, but it was just, it was nice to do, nice to use. So I, I think I have another one that's like an Argon one. Um, so I'm going to try that one and see if that, if I notice a difference, but otherwise I liked it. And then I have some makeup things. The first is the Milani Liquify Automatic Eyeliner in green. 
This is in my makeup use up and I finished this guy. And then this is the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus Eye Pencil in Black Onyx. This one I did not like. It transferred quite a lot and I just didn't care for it but it's gone so it doesn't matter. But I would not rebuy, rebuy this one. I have four mascaras and let me talk about them. First is this sample of the Tarte Tardis Lash Paint. I actually love this. I do have a full size that I got at Gen Beauty, and I love this mascara. It has a like a weird rubber bristle brush, which I or wand, which I don't usually care for, but I love the formula of this mascara. It wasn't too dry, it wasn't too wet, it was like perfect. So I totally love this. And then these three, I all hated like hated. First is the L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lashes Waterproof. This does less than nothing. It, it does literally nothing. I would never buy this again. And then these two are from Rimmel, the Scandalized Rock and Curves and the Kate, just Scandalized Mascara by Kate in iRock Jet Black and Carbon Black. First of all, I don't like the wands on these. I don't like these like broken heart wands. I, I don't like those. And these both transferred like crazy. I'm talking like up here, down here. I don't ever have mascara transferred on my lower lash line because I don't wear mascara on my, my lower lashes. I never have mascara transferred down here. And these transferred like crazy. So I did not like either of these. They both had like the broken heart wands and I just am not, I'm just not a fan of that. These mascaras were both probably the blackest mascaras that I've ever used. So I was really bummed when they transferred because, I mean, it was bad. It was bad. And I'm talking like they transferred on days where I was just inside and not outside sweating. They transferred on days where I use a waterproof mascara as like a topper. No. Don't buy those. I mean, you can, but I didn't like them. That was June. That was all the stuff that I finished in the month of June, or completed using in the month of June. If you guys uh, used up anything in June, what was it? Let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you soon.